All right, so I want to solve this problem. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I have 1 over cosine. I'm going to rewrite the left side, and then 1 plus 1 over cosine. So I can actually rewrite this as, um, well, still 1 over cosine theta over cosine theta plus 1 all over cosine theta. So this becomes 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta over cosine theta plus 1. These cancel off, and we're f and the left side becomes 1 over cosine theta plus 1. Okay, that doesn't really <clears throat> help us out, but what I can do is I can take the right side of the equation and meet the left side what I got here. So on the left side, um, or excuse me, the right side, I got 1 minus cosine theta. And the sine squared theta, this is a trig identity, it can become 1 minus cosine squared theta. Here's where the magic is. So I can take this, I get 1 minus cosine theta over 1 quantity 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. And these cancel off, and I'm left with 1 over cosine theta plus 1. And that's... So here's the left side. This is where I came up with. Sorry, it's a little kind of all over the place, but this works. And it comes down here, and we get 1 over cosine theta plus 1. That's it. All right. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.